So it is March 30th and 24 degrees outside. I have to keep telling myself spring is going to come, spring is going to come. Um, we're going to the horse barn to have a look at the girls. At least the two most pregnant girls are in there right now, so it's a little warmer. Good morning. How's it going? How's the pampered spa life? You guys doing okay? So it is late afternoon and I'm coming to check the girls. Hi, Vivian. <laughs> How are you? Hi, Tennessee. Giving them their dinner. We grain all of the sheep just a little bit every evening to kind of get them to come into the sheep barn. But these girls I'm also giving breakfast to, right? like breakfast. Yeah. How you doing, honey? You got your dinner? <laughs> wow, look at her. Wow. She's pink and full. <clears throat> so a friend of mine, I was talking to her yesterday and she was saying it'd be nice if I explained exactly what we're looking for when we're looking for um, some of the signs of being closer to delivery with a sheep because maybe everybody doesn't know that. Um, so they get wider and wider. Vivian was much more wide last year when she delivered her twins last year. Um, and right here uh, uh, before their hip bone, above their hip bone, um, hers is nice and flat right now. It dimples in. It kind of drops in when the baby drops lower into the into the um, the abdomen and so you're kind of looking for that dipping and I, I feel like Tennessee is dropping a little bit you can see her her tummy on either side is sticking straight out but it's also a little bit lower than it used to be and this pinkness is the sign she's flushing with blood flow to the udder and to the vulva um, so that can be just a change, like she's getting more hormonal or a little closer, or it can be a sign that it's coming quite close. So um, the next signs are 
like behavioral that we, we look for. So when they're real unsettled, when they won't eat, when they're up and down and up and down, when they are, um, hi, you don't want to have dinner? Want me to move that bowl over? So <laughs> she's standing in it. Want me to get that for her? Excuse me, baby. Let's share. Here we go. So, um, oops, sorry. Oh, <gasps> you're gonna go over there now. You're gonna go over there. You want it all? So sometimes, um, some of these behavioral things are individual to a sheep and sometimes they're situational. So sometimes one year they'll do one thing and one year they'll do the next. But um, a lot of times they won't eat right before a delivery and yet some sheep will walk right away from the hay feeder and go and uh, have a baby. So so a lot of times they won't eat that feeding um, and they are up and down and up and down. And then um, they paw, they paw at the straw or the bedding that they're in and they start looking for a place to rest and to to lamb and so then the next thing to watch for is actually pushing and um, contractions often look like there's a Fleming response where they lift their upper lip with the discomfort with the pain and they stretch their head back over their side, sort of looking over their shoulder, kind of. Um, and then you'll see them actually sort of propping themselves up a lot of times and contracting and pushing. And so that's like late stage labor. But, but for these early stages of when might it be? Would it be today? Would it be pretty soon? What we're looking for is, um, and again, every sheep is different, but, but sort of how that body's looking, how that udder's looking, how that vulva's looking, and um, yeah, Vivian looks like she's a little ways off still to me, and Tennessee is a first time mom, so I don't know exactly, um, I would have to say I think it would be within the next couple days, but um, it is unclear. You can see the baby moving sometimes at this stage, because they're big and they start moving around, which is fun. Do you think it's fun? I'm getting a big hug. <laughs> Thank you. You doing okay? Yeah, it's overwhelming. But let's see, we had one sheep that I bought um, and she had an eye infection. And so we had her quarantined like we normally do, but for a little while, for several days, trying to treat this eye infection. And to catch her, to treat the eye, I had my lacrosse playing sons <laughs> trying to grab her in her little pen and their friends. Like, you don't chase a sheep, that's, that's, you just don't do that because they can have a heart attack. But to catch her, we had to um, do all sorts of crazy things. So we would, we would catch her, barely, she practically jumped over this five foot fence. Um, she was dragging around 16 year old lacrosse players, the tiniest little Shetland, just like Vivian, but white. Little tiny thing, little, oh, <laughs> you gonna knock me out? Um, little tiny thing. We put her out in the pasture and the next day I woke up in the morning, she had a baby next to her. She had lamb and I didn't even know she was pregnant. I had no idea she was pregnant. There was no udder, there was no warning signs. She was jumping over my teenagers. <laughs> it's like, so you can't always um, predict. And the, the following year she had gotten bread accidentally and I had no idea. And then one day I thought, now, is that an udder? Because there were other girls that were bred and heavily pregnant. and. Um, I thought, well, gosh, that might be an udder. I better watch her. Well, I didn't get her in in time. And that night we heard a strange cry out in the pasture. Went out there and Amelia's got a, a baby next to her. So she, um, she was tricky. Um, and so you really, you really don't know <laughs> when a baby's coming. But some sheep have tendencies and some get really, really, really big. And others, especially like a new new sheep to lambing who hasn't had a whole bunch might kind of keep her figure a little bit longer um, and then surprise you with the baby. So all kinds of excitement, right Tennessee? All kinds of good stuff. What do you think? I think it's funny that the girls at this stage, if they're really friendly, these two um, are great examples of it, will come up to me and whoop, put their heads in my 
hands and kind of grunt like, oh, this is hard. <laughs> and like deep breaths, right? So much breathing and like, do you understand mama how hard it is? And I do understand. I tell them, I remember, I remember feeling like you're gonna explode and having babies practically kick your ribs out and feeling like a house walking around, like you can't take one more step. I remember, I remember it all really clearly. Oh, yes, I do. I have empathy. Look how pretty you are. What do you think about that? Are you pretty? Yeah. So I, I feel like they, they know I know their pain. someone care and understand different. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Mm-hmm.